Hey guys, and welcome to another Let's Play. I thought once again, why not? Let's spin up the old Dreamcast emulator and play something that I've actually wanted to play for many, many years. Uh, my brother and I actually rented this game back, uh, way back when uh, the PS1 was still relevant, uh, <laughs> before the Dreamcast even dropped, I believe. Uh, and that is Alone in the Dark, the new nightmare. I have been really interested in playing this um, for many years. We did uh, rent it, as I said. Uh, we didn't get very far in it, from what I can remember. Because we were wee little nippers at the time. And unlike, say, something like Resident Evil or Silent Hill. <clears throat> actually, Silent Hill, I remember as a kid. I found that game pretty terrifying. But... This game, from what I can remember, was really terrifying. Um, it had some really interesting effects. Uh, Alone in the Dark as well is like one of the uh, OG survival horror games. So I never got around to it. <clears throat> Reason being, uh, I have it on the PS1, but I always wanted to do the Dreamcast version because, of course, I did. And my Dreamcast for the longest time has, has not really liked this disc. I don't know why. Um, but hey, we actually have a Dreamcast emulator, so, you know, physical media and all that kind of stuff is totally irrelevant and obsolete at this point. Now, it doesn't actually tell you which one's disc one and which one's disc two, which is fan dabby dozy, but I'm pretty sure this is disc one. Uh, maybe because I literally just tried it and it worked. Not sure how we swap discs in this emulator. I'm pretty sure there's like quite a nice little menu for disc swapping. Unlike Duck Station, which was a bit of a pain in the balls. It's also hotter than the devil's anus in this room right now. I've got the window fully open. Um, so I'm going to rip into a can of monster. Fuck yeah, boys. Okay, let's go. Alone in the dark, the new nightmare. Let's do this. So, this is obviously blind. I have played it, as I said, I don't know, 20 years ago? Well, I didn't really play it, my brother played it and I watched, but uh, hey, you get what I'm trying to say. Also, playing it on the emulator, we get to bump up the resolution really high. Which is nice. Oh, 2001. Yeah, so 20 years ago. Came out later than I thought then. Unless that's just the Dreamcast release. I was not expecting this sort of soundtrack. I know there's two playable characters. There's a di Ooh. dark. Ooh, ah, tingles. Delicious tingles. Right, we're gonna go new game. In the dark. Yeah, alright, dude, you just said that. Uh let's hit up options. Effects volume. Oh right, yeah, sure, that's fine. I can always edit that in post anyway, so whatever yo. Uh actually dialogue, yeah, dialogue's right up, which is good. Uh we're going stereo. Nice. Nice to see this emulator remembers my settings as well, because we don't want mono. Come on, man. I think that's basically it. Alright. New game, then. No difficulty options. Cool. Gloucester, Massachusetts. October 30th, 2001. 2100 hours. Now you understand why I couldn't say no and had to leave right away. I'm going tomorrow. 
I left some notes on the office desk. See you soon, Carmi. Oh, I nearly forgot. If you want to contact Johnson, he's at 555-1495. Boston Police Department. Name, Fisk. First name, Charles. Date of birth, February 17th, 1944. Presumed date of death, October 24th, 2001. So that's our male antagonist. Somewhere in the United States. Protagonist. October 31st, 2001. 1800 hours, 43 minutes. So? They'll be on Shadow Island in about an hour. Carnby's a loose cannon, but we had no real choice. And the professor? Professor Eileen Sedrak is convinced that Obed Morton is her... We had no trouble persuading her. I must have those tablets in their translation. Is that clear, Johnson? Perfectly, sir. Tablets, eh? Daddy? Ooh. Miss Sedrak? Aline? Wake up. What? Oh, sorry. Excuse me. Here. You'll probably need this. Do you have your radio? Yes, I have it. Aline. When we get to the island, for your safety, you'd better stay close to me. My safety? Is there any danger? I was hired to authenticate the translation of the Abkhana Stone. I will be working with Professor Morton. My best friend died because of those tablets. He was killed on Shadow Island. All right. And I swear I'm going to find whoever did it. I'm very sorry. Listen, I know Professor Morton's reputation. He's a scientist, a great researcher. Well, to me, he's just another suspect. So we're the hard-boiled hard ass. Getting close. Shadow Island. Shadow Island. <laughs> I love it already. What was that? Ooh. Whoa. Put that up. We have to jump. The fuck? Go. I hope she knows how to use that. So we have Edward Carnby. All right, he's thirty-three. He's a private eye. His characteristic is he <laughs> he owns a double-barrel gun. Uh, cool. All right, I'm picking up what you're putting down. What about this lady here, Aline Cedric, twenty-seven? All right, so she's a professor. Okay, cool. Uh, her characteristic is uh, her father is unknown. I guess they just had uh, a text box to fill in. Okay. Type in any old bollocks. They could have put anything there. You know, they could have put something really interesting to draw you into her character. But, um, well, just work, isn't it? Um, okay, fine. Well, I mean, right. So the logical choice is we're going to pick the guy with the gun. But let's not, actually. Let's pick... This lady here. I mean, I'm guessing we've got to do both characters anyway. So... Alright, let's try Elaine then. Alright. Alone in the dark. So we've already been separated. That doesn't bode well. Does she have a weapon? Ooh. How do we run? Right, so run is X. Gotcha. Okay. Alright, not bad. Uh, the, oh, flashlight, right. Flashlight is B. 
Now, I'm already... Yeah, I... Look, I know this is the Dreamcast version, right? But instantly, look at these backgrounds. They already... Oh, with the analog stick, we can control the flashlight. That's kind of interesting. So, already, these um, backgrounds are really detailed. Way more detailed than uh, what we got with uh, Countdown Vampire. Now, the PlayStation probably could... Do something at least close to this. I mean, Resident Evil 2 had some lovely backgrounds. Um, look, Countdown Vampire just, yeah. Yeah, it didn't really do it. Hello. Aline? Aline? Cornby? Is that you? Stay calm. Everything's gonna be fine. Come and get me out of here. I landed on some kind of old manor. Everything's dark. I'm really scared. Listen. Turn your flashlight on so I can spot you. And uh, we can do that. I think. Oh, okay. Okay, worked fine. I can see you. What do I do now? Well, you've got to get inside the manor. There has to be a, a window or something. Find a safe place to hide and wait for me. But... I'll be there soon. A window, you say? Well, as luck would have it, there's one right here. There's only goodies over here, though. My god, this game looks really nice. Okay. So, Evil Manor. I like it. On Shadow Island. I like it. Ooh, that's... Ooh. Right, so things that we can interact with, I guess shine oh look at this game it's pretty it's really pretty oh hello who are you random i do not recognize the sound of your steps please help me i've had an accident you should never have come here young lady this is not a place for you or anyone else why what's going on here my son Obed is in danger, young lady. Obed? You mean Professor Obed Morton? The creatures of darkness. You must help him. You must darkness. take Obed with you before it's too late. Wait, what creatures? The creatures of darkness? What is... You see, young lady, here on Shadow Island, the shadows are alive. <laughs> they come and lick your face like hellfire the shadows are cold and sharp and like razor blades the shadows stalk you they feed off your breath and your heat but mainly off of your fear light dispels the shadows but light also reveals the shadows mm. Obed will explain this better than I can where is he? How would I know? I haven't seen him for three days now. The last time he came, he entrusted me with this key. A statue in the smoking room. Take it. Shh. Listen. Take a small gilded key. I don't hear anything. Then hush! Howard! Howard! Is that you, Howard? Oh, what in heaven's name are you doing? Who's uh. Howard? It's my husband, of course. Obed's father. Howard? Young lady, please go have a look in the corridor. There might be a problem. <laughs> Howard, is that you? Okay, well, that's totally not creepy and fine. Right, so, Howard's stalking the hallways, apparently. Uh, right, uh, <laughs> I did not expect to jump straight through the window into some old lady's bedroom, that's strange. Science, Obed Morton. Uh-huh. So... Narcotic pain pathways. Flash in the pan, liquid water. All right. Oh, so that's some book on supplements. Alright. Professor Morton's presentation immediately triggered 
passionate outbursts from the specialist president uh, present in the audience. For several years, uh, Obed Morton, a world-renowned specialist in the history of Native Americans, has devoted himself to researching all available data about one tribe. The uh, how do you even say that? Uh, yeah, them. Of whom uh, there is no living ancestral trace. Until today, Professor Morton has kept his research top secret. All we know about this research is that it received considerable financial backing from the Institute of Ethnology in Boston, as well as a significant slice of Obed Morton's own legendary family fortune. His research activity has been monumental and it will take too long to detail the hypothesis and evidence laid down by Obed Morton. The trust of the eminent ethno-linguist's argument is that around uh, 12,000 BC, the tribe conceived a highly developed complex writing system through the combination of signifying symbols these astounding findings uh, challenged not just our knowledge of north american indian culture but also what we know about the origins of language and writing several specialists in the field present at this historic conference spoke out immediately against the professor's theories for our part we will merely state that a work of these Proportions is beyond the scope of one man alone. Ooh. All the same, this is exactly what Professor Morton claims. Alright. So, okay, so we don't actually keep that. Looks like there's a med pack over here. Have that bastard. Alright, pocket that. Alright, lady. I'll uh, smell you later, I guess. Uh, ooh. Uh. Whoa. What the f fuck? Snake came alive. Um. But we can burn it away with our torch? Just like the lady said? Does that. It doesn't permanently kill it. Right, maybe we need to light this place up. Uh, even this stove seems to regret being here. Oh no, okay, so, right, we can actually kill it, cool. Alright, this torch is... Okay, uh, any regrets yet, Aline? You got the charm of savings. Oh, do we... Can we only, like, save once per charm or something like that? I mean, we have the power of save states, which I will use at the end of each video. So, there's that. Okay. Looks like that's all that's here. Oh. Oh, we got griblies, boys and girls. We got griblies. Man, this is pretty. Okay, let's have a little look at our charm of saving or whatever the heck that was. Charm of saving. A magical pendant of Indian origin. I can use it to save my progress at any moment. Okay, that's interesting, but I guess it's a one and done thing. Uh... Drop a save state and just see. I'm guessing it's a one and done. I don't want to waste it if that's true. Save okay. Yeah, right. Okay, so it's, it is a one and done. Um, yeah, we don't we don't want to waste it then, do we? Okay. Right, let's keep exploring. Oh, hey, friend. Are you... You're not afraid of my light, are you? Yeah, I guess you are. No, I mean, he's a... He's not that afraid. That's bad. Alright, let's have a little look up here. Uh, as Master Chief would say, I need a weapon. Yeah, we need something a little bit more powerful. Do we have a map? Yes, oh, we do. Not a bad map either. I, well, 
actually, what is this bullshit? Uh, right, so that's showing us. So let's just explore down here. Yeah, this little bastard's following us. Dude, I'm going to kick you in your genital sacks relentlessly. I assume they have genitalia. Um, right, yeah, they're kind of... They're not that difficult, actually, to uh, aim at. I'm... Oh, hello. Oh, God, look at all these bastards. Yeah, we... Oh, shit, yeah, we really need some weapons or something. Oh, dude. Uh... Have a gun, please. Is that, is that a thing? Thank you. Please don't lick the back of my neck. I need that to keep my head on. Oh, there's another talisman of saving there. Okay, cool. Charm of saving, whatever. Uh, let, oh, God, we're already on dead red health. This door is locked. That's awkward. Yeah, I'm going to need a gun. Like, sooner rather than later? It, oh, you son of a bastard. Really, dude? No way to treat a lady. Ooh, hear that. That's menacing. Okay, I, I like this, actually. Yeah, we need... Um, we need to use... Some health if we have it. Already, dudes. Oh, they're not great. They okay. So each each bite of the health kit just sends us up one level. So now we're okay. So if we're okay, let's use a talisman of saving just because my god guys, we're gonna get rendered here. Okay. Ooh. Something's a little bit salty. Something is a little bit... Oh, salty with us. Oh, you bastards. This is going to be awkward. Small gilded key, I mean, that's fine, but... I'd rather have a shotgun. Or maybe a grenade launcher. What's that? Oh, bullets, I guess. A box of magnesium bullets. 9mm. Well, I mean, okay. That's something. Is there a gun that it goes in? Cause oh, another health kit too. Oh, you bastard! Can you do us both a favour, mate, and fuck off? Cause I'm trying to grab this medical kit. Thank you. Right, let's just walk towards this dude. Right, okay. Go through the door. The door is locked. That's awkward. Now, is that reflected on the map? It at... No. No, it's... Oh, hang on. Right, no, okay. So... I guess they're light sources on the map then. Right. And we appear to have lost sound. No, sound is back. Uh, small gilded key. Small gil ah, right. Second uh, floor east. Right. Uh, small gilded key which Lucy gave me. Right, let's get out of her. I don't know how much range those guys have either. Which is concerning. Is that the only other room in here? I think so. I mean, there's a window there, but I don't think that's gonna that's gonna do us much good, is it? Okay. So these are light sources. That's interesting that the light sources are on the map. Very interesting, actually. Right now, these mofo's are everywhere. 
sadly. Can you, like, piss off? Can you try and herd them together? Kind of like that. So, what are we looking at here? So, we know there's one... Oh, God, this is really awkward, because we don't exactly know where we are here. Let's just try these doors. Thanks, pal. Cheers, buddy. I'm guessing we need to find a gun fairly soon. Because... Let's be honest with ourselves. The door is locked. Can we... Hang on. Can't be used. Right, okay, so the keys aren't automatically used. That's kind of awkward, actually. Okay. Man, we need a gun. Really Did bad. You hear something? Ooh. I want you to answer me. I swear, I heard something. Quit stalling. Did you talk about our research to this Mr. Lamb, yes or no? Well, how do you think I was able to find all those guinea pigs for you? That's your problem. Oh, guinea pigs? No, it's not my problem. It's our problem. Listen carefully, Obed. I've been putting up with your whining and your cowardice for years, but it's over now. You've known my goals from the beginning, and nobody, especially not me, forced you into following me. So I want to find out if you betrayed me. Well, you know me, and you know I would not hesitate for a second. Oh, yes. I know you. I know you are completely mad. It's Oof. you! It, it's you who... Yes, it's me. And so what? Never cross me again. Ever. You stick to your narcotic stupor and let me fulfill our destiny. Hmm. So he is indeed working with somebody else. <laughs> Which I guess is fairly obvious at this point. Um, right, let's... So they're trying to raise the dead or something, I guess. I don't know. What else could you be doing on Shadow Island? With these tablets. So he seems to be addicted to drugs, I guess. What's this? Oh. The light switch. Okay. I like light switches in this game. Oh, here it is. The mansion. Okay. We have two choices. We've got more than two choices here, kids. Door is locked. I don't like the way we have to try these keys. I think the keys should be, like, automatically used. Nope. Right, so we found ourselves a bottleneck where we literally cannot continue. So, oh, does that light actually do anything? Does it change anything? Maybe? I'm not sure. But this game is pretty. It really is. Ah, so we can't go through there, which is unfortunate. So whatever we've got to do, it's up here. The window opens into the black, uh, into the back of the manor. There is a kind of force on the other side of the island. Right. Cool. Alright. That's a thing. Let's go back through here. So, oh, you son of a fucking bitch. I don't like these things at all. I like even less the fact that we can't defend ourselves. Can we light... Anything? Oh, you... Oh, can we just kick this thing in the face? I guess not. This is going to lead us back into the old lady's room. So, can we not light any of these? Maybe we get something later on. Lady, do you not have a piece? Can we not talk to her again? 
You don't have a gun. You've got like monsters walking around. You're on a secluded island and you don't have like a fucking magnum. Oh. Oh, right. Okay. So whatever we need to do is this way then. Ass cakes. Ah, uh, bloody hell. Fucking things. Oh, we haven't been in here before. Another save talisman. They're giving these to us fairly regularly. Cordy, uh -oh. this is no island. This is a nightmare. What have you dragged me into? First of all, I never dragged you into anything. Secondly, I told you to remain put. And third, I don't have any idea either. But where is all this coming from? Did we step into the Twilight Zone or what? I'm telling you, I have no idea. Anyhow, if you hear someone calling for help, beware. I don't understand. You'll understand way too soon. Uh-oh. So if something's calling for help, stay the fuck away. Got ya. Ooh, what's that? Is that shotgun shells? Looks like shotgun shells. Phosphorus cartridges. Ooh, spicy. Uh, game, that's all well and good, but... <sighs> Can we not have, you know, 36 of the puppies? Phosphorus cartridges for the triple barreled shotgun. Um, yeah, c can, can I have that, please? Box of magnesium bullets. Okay. Well, guessing. Guessing we're... I'm kind of stuck at the moment. I'm not stuck, but we're in the shit. And this map, actually, uh, I'm not a humongous fan. Because it doesn't tell you where in the room you are. <laughs> and this bullshit here doesn't make a hell of a lot of sense. Uh, right, so I guess, right, we're in the attic. All right. And with that, we're actually out of time. So, I'm going to save it here, guys. Uh, hopefully, we're going to find a weapon in the not-too-distant future. Because otherwise, we are up a certain creek without a certain instrument. If you get my drift. But, I'm enjoying this. This seems really interesting. How I never really played this, I don't know. But, um, not really a fan of those little gribbly bastards that scurry around. I wish we could, uh, you know give them a kick in the genitals but i guess that will come later so thank you very much for watching guys and as always till next time